Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at spectator ions. To begin looking at spectator ions, we're going to first look at precipitation reactions. Precipitation reactions occur when two solutions react to produce a solid. A reaction that you may have seen in class is where you mix lead nitrate and potassium iodide, which are both colourless and clear solutions, and when you mix them together, you produce a bright yellow solid, which is lead iodide. To be able to know which of the which of the two products is a solid, you need to look that up in the data book. You'll find that on page 8 you have the solubility ta table and you'll find that lead iodide is the solid and potassium nitrate is very soluble, so it is aqueous. To begin looking at spectator ions, we need to first write this out as a balanced equation. So lead, in this case, has a valency of 2 so it's Pb and nitrate has a valency of 1, so we've got PbNO3 brackets 2, and that is aqueous, plus potassium iodide, which is Ki, it's also aqueous, to produce lead iodide, which is PbI2S, and potassium nitrate, which is KNO3, and that one's aqueous. You need to balance this, so if you're unfamiliar with balancing or you can't remember, go and watch that video now. I'll put a link in the corner. So we're going to start by balancing, we usually start by balancing the metal. All the metals are balanced here, so we're going to look next at the group ions. So nitrate has two on the left and one on the right, so we'll put a two in front of KNO3, which unbalances our potassium. We put a 2 in front of Ki to balance that. We also balance the iodine which was unbalanced on the right hand side. We still can't identify our spectator ions from this so we need to split this up into ionic formula. I have a video on that as well so if you need to have a look at how to split things up into ionic formula you can go and watch that. We're going to take each of the parts in turn and split them up. So Pb is a 2 plus ion and you can see that because we've got two 1 minus ions attached to it and that is aqueous. We have two nitrate ions so it's important that you transfer this 2 in front of the nitrate when you are writing out your ionic formula and that is aqueous. We have two K plus ions so that's aqueous as well. And then the 2 also multiplies the iodide, so we have two iodide ions. So that's all of our reactants. Our solid here, PbI2, we're not going to split up because that is a solid. And here we have 2K+, plus, which is aqueous, and again the 2 multiplies the nitrate as well. Now all we need to do is to go along and see which of these are completely identical. So Pb2 plus aqueous becomes Pb2 plus solid, so that one has changed. Pb2, uh, 2NO3 uh, minus aqueous has not changed on either side of the arrow, so we can score that out. That is one of our spectator ions. 2K plus aqueous and 2K plus aqueous are also identical, so we can score those out. So the red ones are spectators. They do not do anything in the reaction, they just watch it happen. We're then going to rewrite out our reaction without the spectator ions. So we've got 2PB aqueous plus 2I minus aqueous to give us PB I2 solid. Neutralisation reactions also involve spectator ions and we just carry out the same steps. We're going to write this out as a balanced equation. So we have hydrochloric acid, which you will know as aqueous, plus sodium hydroxide, also aqueous, to produce sodium chloride, which is soluble, so it will be aqueous, and water, which is a liquid. We need to now split this up into ions. So we have H plus aqueous plus Cl minus aqueous. Sodium ions that are aqueous and OH minus ions which are also aqueous. To produce sodium ions, 
minutes chloride ions plus water as a liquid now we're just going to do the same thing again we're going to go through and see what's changed and what hasn't so your H plus is now part of water, so that's not a spectator ion. Cl minus hasn't changed. Na plus hasn't changed. And your OH minus is now part of water. So if we're to rewrite this without the spectator ions, a neutralization reaction is an H plus and an OH minus ion joining together to produce water, which if you think about it, it would make sense because we're neutralizing the acid to produce water. The salt is just a byproduct of that and the ions remain in solution on either side of the arrow. If you're trying to identify and eliminate spectator ions, you need to start with the word equation. Identify state symbols for each of the species using page 8 of your data book. You need to write a balanced equation. Write the ionic formula, but don't split up solids or pure liquids. Spectator ions are identical on either side of the arrow. Now, by identical, I mean they have the same charge on either side, and they also have the same state symbol. Cross those out, then rewrite your equation without them. Here are three examples for you to try. Pause the video now and try them using the slide before to help you. Okay, so here we have, we've already been given, here we've been given the word equation. We need to identify state symbols for each of the uh, compounds. So here we have aqueous sodium hydroxide, aqueous sulfuric acid, sodium sulfate is also aqueous, and water is a liquid. We're going to write this as a balanced equation. So we've got NaOH, aqueous plus H2SO4 aqueous, becoming Na2SO4, just watch when you're writing your formulae, and H2O liquid. To balance this, we're going to balance the sodium first, so we'll put a 2 in front of the Na2, the NaOH, and that means we also need to balance the water on this side. We're now going to split this up into ions, so we've got Na+, plus aqueous and there's two of them. The two also applies to the OH minus. And I'm going to write the state symbols underneath just for space. This two you need to bring out to the front so that we've got two H plus ions and then one sulfate. The two comes out to the front here so we've got two Na plus ions and one sulfate like we did before. And then finally we've got two waters which are liquid. We're going to go through and we're going to score out anything that's identical. So Na plus, Na plus, they are identical. Your OH minus and your H plus are now part of water, whereas your sulfates are another spectator ion. So here we have two OH minus plus two H plus to give you two water which you could simplify down. The next example we have sodium chloride and silver nitrate. If you look those up in the data book you'll find that they are both soluble whereas silver chloride is not and sodium nitrate is. Nitrates tend to be soluble. We're going to write this out as a balanced equation. So we have NaCl uh, dissolved we have silver nitrate, which is AgNO3, also aqueous, producing AgCl, which is a solid, and NaNO3, which is aqueous. If we have a look, everything there is balanced. So we need to split that up into ions. So we're going to leave the AgCl as it is, and then our final ions are sodium and nitrate. So as we have before, we're going to go along the line and see what has changed and what hasn't. 
So sodium is an ion and aqueous on either side, so that's a spectator. The chloride is now part of a compound that is solid, so it's precipitated out. The silver has also precipitated out, but the nitrate has remained in solution. So our equation of the actual reaction which is happening without the spectator ions is chloride ions plus silver ions to become a silver chloride solid. And then here's our last example. So we have barium chloride which is aqueous, sodium sulfate, which is also aqueous, barium sulfate is a solid, and sodium chloride is um, also aqueous. So if we write out our formulae for this, so barium is in group 2, so that's BaCl2 aqueous, sodium sulfate, sulfate is a 2 minus ion, sodium is a 1 plus, so we're going to be Na2SO4 aqueous to produce barium sulfate as a solid and sodium chloride in solution. Now we need to balance this out. So we've got two sodiums here and only one here. So we're going to multiply that by two. And that also balances our chlorine as well. We now need to split this up into ions, so we'll have Ba2 plus aqueous ions, and then the 2 needs to go in front of the chlorine, so we've got 2 Cl minus ions. The 2 needs to go in front of the sodium, so we've got 2 Na plus ions, and then 1 sulfate ion. We're going to leave barium sulfate as it is, then we've got 2 Na plus and then the 2 also multiplies the chlorine, so we've got two chloride ions. And again, just take your red pen and go through and score out anything that is identical on either side. So barium changes, chloride does not change, so we can score that out. Sodium doesn't change, so we can score that out, and our sulfate does become part of the compound. So we've got Ba2 plus aqueous plus our sulfate ions to become barium sulfate solid. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you find it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Kim for regular updates on new videos. Bye for now.